Ah. So, back to the walking videos. <laughs> oh boy. I got a, I don't know, I just got a little bored of uh, putting uh, the videos of walking. So, for uh, I think what, four days? Four days I didn't put any videos of me walking. Means I didn't shoot any new videos. If you'd see any videos in the last four days when I was walking, it is um, uh, an old video. The only video you'll see exception was yesterday I went out for a run in the rain. So when I saw it raining, I, you know, just thought I'll run. But then I thought, oh, okay. I've never taken a video of me running a kind of a round and that also when it's raining. The only thing was it stopped raining in between. So next time maybe I'll take a video when it's raining full, but there was strong wind. There was really strong wind. And it was uh, kind of scary, you know. Yeah, and uh, remember if, you know, I always tell people, uh, rather I remember what the words of Undertaker, the wrestler was. He said, if I'm getting bored of a gimmick <laughs> or I'm getting bored of something that I'm doing, I'm pretty sure the audience is also getting bored. So I'm not a big fan of, uh, or I'm, it's not my habit to check uh, YouTube analytics and check how many minutes are people watching, till what minute are people watching, how long the video should be, how short the video should be, when the audience in interest dips down. I don't bother about all that. I just keep it simple, I upload the video. Someone wants to see it, they'll see it. Don't want to see it, don't see it. And that's the same thing with like and subscribe. You want to like, you like. You want to dislike, you dislike. You want to subscribe, you're a grown ass person, man. So, anyway. So back to putting videos. Now what prompted me to start today's video was uh, yesterday I had a small health episode which uh, kind of, uh, it, it's the first time it happened to me, okay? I'll tell you what happened. Uh, now, just to backtrack, if you check my Instagram, I posted a video of me eating um, white Snickers. But the difference in the Snickers was, see, normally when you say Snickers, it's a brown chocolate with peanuts, a nougat and a caramel. Uh, soft, like, you know, a biscuit. It's not like biscuit, okay, whatever. So, but then there was... There is, uh, I've also shared with you, the white almond, uh, white with peanuts. Now, there has been different variations like uh, Snickers with almonds, okay? Snickers white with peanuts and Snickers. But this time when I went to... <coughs> seven, <coughs> when I went to the 7-Eleven, to my surprise, I found uh, the white Snickers, but it was different. And what was different? <laughs> okay, you you can watch this video. So it was a white Snickers, but with two options. One was coconut. The other, the other one, surprisingly, was with lemon. So you have a white Snickers, white flavor, which is my favorite, but with lemon. So I was like, oh wow, okay, this is new. So I bought one because I wanted to see would I like it. I bought one, I tried it. It had a very lemony tinge. I was like, yeah, I don't like this. I tried the coconut one. It had a bit of a coconut base i didn't like it so i said no but i bought one spare one and i came home after i came home in the evening i just said okay 
let me just eat this i ate a piece and i actually enjoyed it i don't know maybe it took me some time to get used to the flavors i, I was like mm, this is nice this is not bad so then i decided okay i wanted to keep some stored because it was a limited edition now the problem with the problem where i stay in samui if a limited edition chocolate comes out now it will be there for like uh, once in 6 months or once in a year in fact uh, hagendas there was an ice cream which was white white inside and white chocolate and uh, almonds i tasted this two or two and a half years ago and it has never come back since and it's like oh shit man i wish it had so even the snickers which was white with white and almonds which i loved i my purchase i think from different different 711 they keep like just one box and by the time you go there people have already taken half the box you'll get 10 pieces five pieces three pieces so you have to drive to different quite a number of 711s so i went to all the 711s i picked up two or three boxes worth of snickers so now i realized that i like this snickers chocolate and i decided okay time to go and do some resource gather hunting you know or you know it'll get over so at around i think 10 o'clock 10 or 11 in the night i told my wife hey okay i'm going to get this snickers chocolate she said no okay i'll also come i said okay fine normally she likes to come because she's bored in the house so i took her i took the baby so we went to the first place we got i think five pieces of uh, white snickers with a coconut and five pieces of white with or seven pieces with lemon then we drove off maybe half a kilometer away we found another one half a kilometer away we found uh, i think one half a kilometer away again 10 half a kilometer away nothing so uh, like that it was in different places and then i had to drive back i went one way i drive back i went to the other way when i went to the other way uh it was the first yeah it was exactly the first yeah the first store that i went after driving rather long distance i think we drove uh and maybe 8 kilometers the other way when we parked at uh, this one i went inside i could sense my sugar going down okay i could sense it now normally what happens is when my sugar goes down i feel a slight uh, tingling a, a, a kind of sensation in my stomach uh like it's empty i kind of feel a sensation that my energy levels are going down i start feeling little slight trembling and yes there is a there's a infamous cold sweat you start uh, feeling cold and you're actually sweating huh? and uh, if you don't address the issue you start sweating more and uh, you literally start shivering and then if you still don't address the issue like you don't have something you literally feel dizzy and you just sit down and you're like oh, oh. just <laughs> very dramatic you know? <laughs> so now i was feeling uh, the tingling sensation and i could feel the energy levels go down the mistake i did was i was i thought i could manage i thought i'll go back home and i'll have a soup or a fruit or whatever i'll go back home. i i feel that was my big mistake that i assumed i could go back and everything would be okay so i didn't tell my wife i didn't say anything i ignored it and the even bigger mistake was i should have bought something and started munching on it i didn't then i went to the second store which was maybe a kilometer away there once again when i went to the store i could feel sugar going down more by this time i was feeling a little cold sweat but because of the wind blowing it was okay but then when i went to the 
I think the third store. This time when I went there, I remember walking in. As usual, when you walk in, you scan the place. You try to find out where the chocolates are. Okay, that's how it normally me and my wife were doing. So we walked in, and uh, I'm scanning where the chocolates are. And this is where it becomes very strange. As I'm scanning, you know, normally when you scan, what do you do? You look, you identify. Uh, when you identify, you know the price. Okay, you look at the chocolate, you check the price or you check the brand name, and you scan and look down and look here and look there. Okay, that's how you normally do it. I. Uh, when I looked, I like obviously I'm I'm looking. Okay, where's the chocolate? When I looked, when I looked, it was, you know, I I still remember this. I looked, I can see colors. I can see different colors, but I'm unable to identify what is what. Seriously, I can see colors. It's like I'm seeing different colors, not even the shapes. I'm not seeing the shape. I, like, if you were to ask me that time, is that what is that? I wouldn't be able to tell you that is a chocolate. I just saw colors. I just saw. Not even I couldn't see the numbers. I couldn't read anything. I just saw colors. Like it was like a blank stare, and I was just blinking and I was trying to identify what is that. Then it was like I was looking, and then I remember doing this. I remember shaking my head and looking again. Still couldn't identify. Then I was walking. I don't know. <laughs> and then I I remember doing this. I remember just doing this and looking again. I saw something and then again blurred. Uh, like blurred in the sense like I can see colors. Uh, what I didn't know. <laughs> What I didn't know at that time was my wife was talking to me. I I didn't know. <laughs> I I didn't know that she was talking to me. I didn't know that she was telling me. I don't know what she was telling me. I I was not aware because later when we came home, then she she told me. I said my sugar was down. She said I know your sugar was down. I said how do you know? She's saying I asked you. Did you find the chocolate? You didn't answer. You didn't respond. She asked me two, three times, and she knew my sugar was down. And then she even asked me, "Your sugar is down." I didn't respond. So it's like a complete blank. So, and uh, I think it was that time when I started to do this, and I started to walk. I walked into a different section, and then I, I think it was then I kind of registered. I need to have something. My sugar is going down. And it's not good. So I started to search for, you know, the fruit uh, prunes, P R U N E S. It kind of stabilizes the sugar. So searching for prunes, and I was going. Like, eh? So <laughs> searching, I think I was not able to identify where was the prunes, where I was walking. I was looking. Uh, is this prunes? Uh, so finally, I think I I found the prune. Like it's so funny. Like the prune section, I went there. I'm looking at different dry fruits, but it's like a total like a zombie, you know. <laughs> finally, I found the prunes. I took it, and I knew that I had to wash it down with some liquid, which had sugar. So I took a Red Bull, and uh, went to the counter. And my wife, obviously, she was doing the talking articulation, but. Uh, it was seriously not making sense to me we came outside i sat at the scooter i just popped the prunes in my mouth and i was hoping this sugar would stabilize <laughs> but i did not wait it's so crazy i put the sugar, prunes in my mouth i think i could feel the sugar slowly coming back i i just told my wife let's go she was putting the baby she did not sit down just imagine she put the baby there she did not sit down and i was ready to drive off she said hey what are you doing and i was like oh, oh, oh sorry okay i was still 
So she sat down. She said, when I say go, then you go. I said, okay, okay. And I drove off to the second place again. Sugar was not yet proper. Had another one. I know what you're thinking. Loy, what the fuck you're putting your life, life of your loved ones in danger, especially baby. Man, we don't do it intentionally, man. I think this is the same problem that happens when you're driving and you're sleepy, you know. You feel that, oh, I can do it, I can do it. You don't stop. And then you fall asleep at the wheel and, you know. By the way, my baby, when she sits on that slide, you know, and she watches the computer, thankfully my wife kept the pillow down. When she was watching, watching, she just, I think, went to sleep and fell backwards. And thankfully, she landed on uh, this thing. So I told my wife, we need to ensure that she doesn't fall and break her neck. Yeah, what all craziness. Anyway, uh, so where were we? Uh, uh, uh. Okay, I think what I need to do is with my baby buy a small table where we can keep the iPad and she can sit and watch. I think I'll, I'll tell my wife today to buy a iPad, uh, you know, table where you can keep the iPad and like a table for her where she can sit down. Only problem is my baby takes the stool and she goes around standing on different things to get a height, you know. Then sometimes she goes and touch the electrical cord and all that. Anyway, don't want to digress. Uh, so, uh, where was I? Yeah, so by the time I went to the second store, took another prune, another packet. Uh, I ordered uh, soda, you know, carbonated water. I was about to drink that, but then the sugar came back up. I was like, okay, a little okay. And uh, then I told my wife, okay, we can go back. I think my sugar was still down. Came back home. I came back home. When I took off my helmet, I didn't know how bad the situation was because when I touched my head, it was fully wet. That means I was really sweating bad. And I didn't realize. So, went, I sat down. I was supposed to do my videos. I was supposed to upload that Ask Me Anything series. You know, bits and pieces. I just couldn't, man. Just couldn't. It was too weak. And uh, I just had an orange and I think I told my wife, uh, I, can't, I can't work. And I went off to sleep. So, so yeah, yeah. <sighs> now, I don't know. Uh, well, I, I do know that people who sugar goes down, they get experience all this. Yeah, kind of don't know whether I'm getting dementia or am I getting old or... Obviously, I'm getting old. Hey, dog. Dog is busy. I don't know. Am I getting dementia? Or am I getting old? Or yeah, old I'm getting, but uh... but that's so fucking crazy, man. So just imagine you're looking at something. You're just looking at something, and you can't identify what that is. You don't know what the fuck is that. When you're aware, you're looking at something. You're aware, you're looking at something, but you're unable to identify what that is. It's fucking crazy, man. It's fucking scary. <sighs> hmm. yeah, I guess we're getting old. Anyway, if uh, I think if this is the second time or third time my sugar has gone down and... Uh, I was like, I'm strong, I can man. Go back home and take care. I think you need to be careful. Yeah, I think the most, uh, this was by far the most scary because I was driving and, yeah, you know, I'm responsible for the life of my wife and baby. Second most scary is when I went long distance. I think three kilometers away from the house or three and a half, my sugar went down and I was, whoa, whoa, everything was going around. <laughs> Luckily, there was a lady who was selling watermelon. Not watermelon, pineapple. I kind of told her in my 
English, uh, which luckily she understood that my I'm feeling dizzy. I just want I'll pay you later because you know I was running like this. So she said, "Okay, okay, no problem." I think she knew me because of my tattoos. So, so I paid her back. Anyway, if you guys know anything about, I don't know, is this just sugar going down or me being careless or is this dementia or is this old age or whatever the fuck it is? Yeah. If you know what it is, uh, please and please don't Google and become an expert. If you have experience, tell me about this. If you don't have experience, don't bloody go to Google <laughs> and suddenly become a Google expert. There have been guys who literally go through Google, copy paste something, and then I, I, you know, when I read it, I'm like, this sounds like a narrate, like a encyclopedia narration, you know. So don't do that. So anyway, this was an incident that happened. Uh, let me know your thoughts. By the way, I got nice amount of chocolates. I think enough for six months. Must have emptied all the chocolates from the entire <laughs> entire this half of the island. So, hey, how many did I get? I think think I got around six six boxes or eight boxes total. So happy. I got my sneakers white. Okay, guys, put your comments down below. This is me signing off. Take care.